right guys, it's about 5 a.m. Camp is still dead. But it's time to get moving. Let's go find some snakes. We'll then bring up, it scrolls down beyond this, the different leopard frog species that you have. And now you can, hopefully, if you're here, you would know it was a real grand, which is a show, it's down here. Real grand leopard frog. All right guys, first uh, herp of the trip. We're out here at the Eaton Hill Nature Center in Sonora walking around. Uh, went to a presentation earlier today by the middle-aged herpers on YouTube, Chris Harrison and uh, Mike Price. But first herp of the day, trip, goes to this little Texas spotted whiptail. These guys are pretty common. Um, it's a little cool out right now, so it's pretty easy to catch them, flip them under rocks. But we are going to photograph this guy and let him go. Keep herping to it all we can find. All right, guys, we're at our next spot for the day. Down here by the river, we're gonna go see if we can find some turtles. I hear those cricket frogs. Right, we found our first snake out here, crawling along the bank of the river. This is a plain-bellied water snake. Uh, normally, this wouldn't be a very exciting find, but given that we're in West Texas, it's pretty cool. But this is definitely a little bit different from the ones that we're used to seeing elsewhere in Texas and throughout the United States where they're more common. But definitely a cool find. We're gonna get some photos of this guy, put him back in the water. Here's one of these little cricket frogs. Pretty drab coloration on this guy. There's a couple over here that have some nice coloration. I'll try to get some footage of those too. All right, guys, next find. We're still out here on the river in the same spot. Uh, came back down to the area where we found the first water snake and found this guy. This is a Texas greater earless lizard. Pretty drab looking on the top, but when you flip this guy over, wow. Some crazy colors. These are awesome lizards. Be careful to hold on to them because these guys are fast when they get moving. But, yeah, really awesome lizard. Definitely one I was hoping to see out here. It's actually a lifer for me. I've seen the other subspecies of these guys, but... This is my first Texas, so pretty cool. Photograph and let him go. All right, guys, so doing a little walking around in the river right now. We're targeting Texas map turtles, so hopefully we'll get one here soon. It's good weather for them, and we've seen a couple bail off of logs, but they're kind of hard to get in the hand, uh, well, because they're map turtles, so we keep looking, see what I can find. What's up, goat bros? Yo, what's up? What's up, guys? Still out here in goat land. Found a little snoring ground snake under a rock. These guys are one of the more common snakes out here, but this one's an interesting slate gray color, which is pretty much the, the standard for this locale, but you don't really see it a lot elsewhere from my experience, but anyways, common snake, we're going to take some pictures, let him go. Oh, there's another little Sonora. Grab him real quick. It's getting dark on this, but let's see. I'll put this guy back. Alright guys, it's day two of this weekend trip. We're going to spend some time today flipping rocks in different areas, slightly different area from yesterday. But I'll check in, see how it goes. All right, guys, first snake of day two goes to this big ring neck. Oh, wow. Ring neck. That is a nice looking snake. This is a little flathead snake. They're pretty common in this area, but there's definitely little tantilla or among the smallest snakes I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, flipped our next snake of the day. 
It's a little, it's not a little blind snake, it's actually quite big for a blind snake. But these guys are awesome. I was kind of surprised to see this guy because it's so dry out here. But definitely an awesome find. I'm photograph him, keep flipping, see what else I can find. Am I on your way here? You're good. All right, I already flipped this rock so I know what's under it, but it's pretty cool. That is a pair of Chihuahuan night snakes. Right, here's these night snakes that we just flipped. You can see they're pretty significantly different from each other. One's a nice light coloration and one's darker than usual. So it's nice opposing uh, phenotypes here. So it's pretty cool. Definitely cool to see these guys together under one rock. Now it's breeding season, so a lot of times when you find snakes under rocks like, like that, they will be a mating pair and they're about to mate or they've already mated. So we're gonna put these guys back and let them get back to whatever they were doing. Another night snake. Pull this guy out real quick. Yeah, this one's yet again quite different from the other two we flipped earlier. But let's see if I can get a look at those the face up close. It doesn't want to cooperate. But yeah, pretty much like the last two. I'm gonna put them back on his rock. Alright guys, so we went down a little bit further from where that night snake was, like two or three rocks. And I flipped this guy. And <laughs> I'm winded because I had to chase him across the road. But this is a eastern collar lizard. It's a little one. And these guys are also pretty common out here, but definitely one of our more unique North American lizards. And always good good thing to see. So we <laughs> He just licked the night snake's face. We actually still, I didn't still have the night snake right here because he was found. I did that. I kind of like doing the tongue. <laughs> just right there. But yeah, we're going to take pictures of these guys and put them back under the rocks. Where's this one? Uh, All right, guys. We were out here on our way to our next little flipping spot and came across everyone's favorite lizard in the West Texas. It's a Texas horn lizard. This guy, pretty average sized adult. We're going to get him out of the road. Um, but. Yeah, they're pretty self-explanatory. These guys are awesome. Never a disappointment to see. So, we are going to let him go. Go on. This is why they get run over by cars so much. You can tell how good their camouflage is with this natural ground cover. And you suck down in the grass and become basically invisible. Cool. All right, All right guys, right. we're in the next whole area right here. And we found another snake under a rock. This guy is a Western Coach Whip snake. So another one of the more common species out here, but nevertheless, always fun to see. Let's try and get the camera to focus, there we go. They have those big, beautiful eyes for hunting lizards. They have really good eyesight as far as snakes go, but always a cool find, but very common, so we're just going to let this guy back into his rock pile. Alright guys, just cruised up on our second horn lizard of the day, right there in the grass. Try to grab him real quick. Oh, oh, there we go. Did you see that? That was so close to going under your foot. I blocked him though. Alright, I'm going to take some pictures video of this guy let him get off the road all right guys horn lizard number three right there doing his best rock impersonation this one looks pretty freaking red look at that wow look at that red coloration on this one fantastic we're gonna get him off the road and keep moving all right guys I'm up here on this rock cut way up at the top and right there is an ornate black-tailed rattlesnake. It's freaking awesome. First one in the year for me. So we're going to take some pictures. Let him go. Alright guys, it's the first cut shining night of the year up north. It's late April. It's just now getting warm enough for, for us to be able to come out at night. And look at these rock cuts on the side of the road and hope to see some snakes coming in and out. I already found a black tail rattlesnake earlier, um, basking before it got dark. But hopefully it'll have gotten warm enough today for stuff to come out and crawl around. Um, we did get a little bit of sprinkling today, which this time of year, 
could mean for some good snake activity. So we will see. All right, guys, just found our first snake of the night since it got dark. Probably not going to be able to catch him, but there is a little Emery's rat snake sticking his head out right there. Hopefully he comes out. He probably won't, but got our first snake of the night once it got dark. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, we made it to the bottom and turned around. I haven't seen anything else yet besides cars and a couple of crevice spiny lizards. But we still have another 30 minutes or so walk back to the car. So hopefully we'll find another snake. Hey guys, Snow here. Um, hope y'all can hear me okay. I'm out here doing some flipping. It's the last weekend in April, I believe, in West Texas. So we still haven't really gotten much rain, but soon it's gonna be getting too hot to flip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through some of my spots here. Um, I've been hoping it would rain, but it's not looking like it's going to. So if it does rain, I'll come back out. But for the time being, I'm just gonna flip stuff here and see what all I can find. So I might end up putting this video into last week's video and make like a last two weeks of April, last two weekends of April harping video, but we'll see. Oh, a little black-headed snake. There we go. Grab this guy real quick. All right, this is a Smith's black-headed snake. They're uh, decently common actually. Yeah, this is a Smith's. You tell these guys apart from the plains by the uh, cap on their head. Plains black-headed snakes don't have as clean of a, uh, a def as defined of a cap as these guys do. It can sometimes extend beyond the neck, etc. So, these guys are always nice. See, I'm a little bit gassed from all the flipping I've been doing, but definitely a decent find. I'm going to keep flipping, see what else I can find. Actually, put this guy down real quick. Get a better look at him. All right, cool. Let's keep holding. This thing out. This is a soul fugid camel spider, sun spider, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, crap, here we go. Oh, he ran off. Oh well, hopefully, I got that little jump where he jumped at my finger on video. But those things are always cool to find. I uh, don't really flip them a lot, they usually see them out on road cuts. So that's an interesting encounter. I'm gonna keep herping, see what else I can find. Guys, I moved on to a different spot. It's it's not far from the last one, same type of deal. So hopefully this one will be a little more productive. All right, guys, so I just flipped something really cool. This is a mini line skink. I found a lot of these guys recently out east where they're way more common. But here in the trans, true trans Pecos region, these guys are not an easy skink to come across. Um, I can say with confidence they're a rare skink and probably one of the better finds you can have out here. Um, but in addition to being a mini lines king, this is the patternless variation in West Texas. So this is definitely very cool. Um, I'm excited to find this guy, take some pictures of him, and uh, let him back under his rock. So. Another soul fugid. This one doesn't seem as inclined to jump on me, but figured I'd let you get a better look at this one since the last one freaked out and escaped. Let's see if I can poke him out of here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna let him go on his way. And the car's just right there, so. Come on, camera. So this will be the end of this little segment. I'm going back out in the field tomorrow, and I'll probably pick up the video from there.
I might try to break it up into a couple parts. I'm just going to have to look at the footage and see. So, 